Hello I'm Team Peers from TV Viewers. This is the news program for the week of 24th of October to the 1st of November 2022. Anti Imperialist Front's 20th anniversary People's Unity Against Imperial Segregation Symposium took place in Athens between the 7th to the 9th of October dedicated to the 11 revolutionaries from Turkey imprisoned in Greece. 45 delegates from 21 countries representing organizations and groups participated in the symposium to unite their forces once again and develop an anti-imperialist struggle. From Philippines to Peru, Mexico to Chile, United States to Belarus and Donbas, Turkey to Palestine and Cyprus, Italy to India and Greece, Ireland to Syria and many other countries discussed the need of forming a strong anti-imperialist struggle against our common enemy. Jalil Muntakim, an ex-Black Panther movement prisoner and activist also participated and welcomed by the participants after his 49 years of incarceration. The program started with the first screening in Greece of Fedain, George Abdullah's fight, the new film focusing on the life and struggle of George Abdullah who has been imprisoned in Greens in France for the last uh, 37 years. On the last two days, various topics discussed and presented by the delegates to inform the people about the struggles in their respective countries. Political prisoners, a form of resistances, anti-imperial struggles, unions and workers' resistance were amongst the topics covered during the symposium. A hunger strike is initiated on the first day of the symposium on 7th of October by the 11 revolutionaries from Turkey imprisoned in Greece at the order of fascism in Turkey, EU and US imperialism. The 11 started this hunger strike against the miscarriage of justice, an unfair trial which they have been subjected to as part of a political trial to please the wishes of fascism and imperialism under the anti-terror laws by the Greek state. Their demands are annulment of the total of 330 years of sentence, fair trial, right to a defence in accordance with their legal rights, bailed whilst the trial is pending, those police officers who attacked them and tortured them in the courtroom during the trial, and judges who approved this to be put on trial and their belongings, including computers, monies and archives, to be returned to them. This hunger strike comes at the eve of the appeal hearing to take place on the 16th of November 2022 in Athens. Sibel Balac, who was on death fast resistance for fair trial and justice, has been released on 12th of October after the prosecutor's office decided to postpone her sentence due to her resistance and health conditions. The decision came after a long campaign by all the people and the lawyers with numerous applications and various reports that has been prepared at the expense of torturing Sibel Ferda by the state institutions and keeping her under unhygienic conditions in hospital. Sibel resisted along with the people and won. On 1st of November in Istanbul, Chayan neighborhood, she has been united with other death fast resistant fighters, Gökhan Yıldırım, who also has been released by suspension of the sentence after 256 days of resistance and Ileri Kızılaltın, whose case has dropped at the preliminary file assessment. All three vowed to continue their struggle until all the political prisoners are, uh, sick prisoners are released. Despite the police attacks in the neighbourhood and the detention of those uh, going to Istanbul along with uh, Sibel, the power of resistance and victory brought them together and now they are together in Istanbul. Palestinian writer and founder of Palestinian Alternative Revolutionary Path Movement, Khalid Barakat, and Samidun International Coordinator, Charlotte Cates, were detained and denied entry to the European Schengen Zone at Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam ahead of the Masar Badil March for liberation and return of Palestinians in Brussels. They were deported back to Canada after interrogation. EU is complicit with Israel in attack on March of Return and the Diaspora. 29th of October in Vancouver, the March for Return and Liberation of Palestine was organized by an alliance of local anti-imperialist organizations, 
including Samadian Palestinian Solidarity Network Vancouver, Canada Palestine Association, Bayan Canada, and the Vancouver Works Assembly. The march was organized as part of a global action called by Masar Badil, La Ruta Palestina Alternativa, the Palestinian Alternative Revolutionary Path Movement. There was a simultaneous action in Brussels, where thousands of people marched towards the European Parliament to, com to confront the EU's responsibility for Zionist war crimes in Palestine. Anti-imperialist front also participated at the march and meetings organized in Brussels. Anti-imperialist front emphasized once again the freedom demand for George Abdullah, for Ahmed Sadat, and 11 revolutionaries from Turkey imprisoned in Greece. We are here as anti-imperialist front for demanding freedom and liberation for Palestinian people that they heroic struggle. We are supporting Mashar Badil and Samedun that way, this great way for the long march. We call all the people to support the resistance fighters in all the places in Palestine, in Gaza, in Naples, in West Bank, in all, all, all towns of Palestine, because it's only one solution, one state, Palestinian state. We are here as anti-burial spawn to tell that we will never accept the terrorizing of the European Union and USA imperialism against the people that struggle for liberation of Palestine. The week-long 5th Internationalist Revolutionary Poetry, Poetry Festival was organized in Bari, Italy. The festival was organized in support of Sardinian poet and rapper Baki Spex, who is on trial for his lyrics against military bases. On the last day of the festival, Sunday 23rd of October, Rosa Kolea took the stage with poetic expression for Aitan Öztürk. On the day themed anti-fascist poetic march, Rosa Coelha read her work, The Gates of Europe, for I-10 from the stage. The representatives of the anti-imperialist front Italy, who participated online, emphasized the importance of defining I-10's testimony as collective memory, a revolutionary memory. It's been said by the anti-imperialist front representative, I-10's testimony represents the identity of people at the same time the strength on which our struggle are based. ITEN's resistance is a choice of not collaborating and defending ideas at all costs. We can do nothing but support her and make her a reason for our resistance. Human rights defender, forensic scientist and chair of Turkish Medical Association, Professor Şebnem Korur Fidanci, arrested by the fascist AKP government of Turkey after lynching campaign on social media. She has been targeted after she emphasized for an investigation on the chemicals used against the Kurdish fighters by the military of Turkey. Şebnem Korur Fidanci has always stood by the people and the science with conscious mind. This is the end of the news program. We will see you the next time. Until then, stay in solidarity.